Hello everyone, it is Shyla Johnson with Heavenly Arms Learning Center. I'm back again with another hot topic. My contact information, um, <clears throat> I can be reached at heavenlyarmsomaha at gmail.com or you can contact the website at heavenlyarmschildcare.com. So, this week I would like to talk about how to get your toddler to sleep in their own bed. I know some of you are probably suffering with this situation. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, some of you might be trying to get your little one, um, maybe one, two, maybe a three or four year old to get to sleep in their own bed. Well, I'm going to try to help you with some tips on to get that transitioning period to start. So, first of all, um, letting your child sleep in your bed can cause some problems. You know, we all have gone through that stage, um, you know, whether we're first time, second time, third time mom. We've had our child sleep with us. You know, we've had the thought of something happening to our child. So, we want to be close to them, make sure they're breathing and, you know, just that first time mom jitters. But as we all know, sometimes it could cause some problems, especially in your relationship. You know, having your kids sleep with you day in and day out can be a problem, cause a lot of problems. It can be a challenge. Um, they've gotten to a habit of sleeping with you, you know. Now, whether your child refuses to fall asleep in his own bed or ends up getting into your bed in the middle of the night kids who don't want to sleep alone this can be a persistent you know type of behavior and we've all had that one child where oh, i'm scared or i just want to sleep with you or i just want to lay in your bed and then guess what they end up doing it every night we fall for it every time well, like I mentioned before, I have several tips that might help you with this situation. First of all, we need to try to make sure that the child's room is sleep friendly. A soothing environment um, that can calm their fears of being in a room by themselves. Now, each child's idea of a calm, soothing relaxation can be different. You know, some child might want a dim light or a night light with maybe some white noise or something playing in the background. Or a child might want it to be silent with it being pitch black. You know, you just have to figure out what works for your child. But we still have to find out what makes your child's room sleep friendly. Now, we want to make sure that um, we get like something to comfort your child, whether it's a stuffed animal or um, something that they are close with and that, that shows them comfort just to make them feel, you know, calm and okay and let them know it's okay for them to sleep in their own room. So try different things, you know, just to see what works um, for your child. Get them in the routine of just going into their room and getting them in the mood of kind of calming them down to so they can start learning how to sleep in their own bed. This may ease the nighttime fear of sleeping by themselves, you know. You want to create clear expectations, you know, um, have a talk with your child, you know, about the change that's going to happen before you actually just go right into it. You know, because they want to, you got, you got to let them know ahead of time. Look, this is what we're going to do. You've been sleeping with mom and dad for quite some time. Now that you're a big boy or big girl, it's time for you to sleep in your own bed. You know, um, just let them know, um, we're going to try this tonight. Tonight, you're going to sleep in your own room. You're a big boy. You're a big girl. We know you can do it. And... It's going to happen tonight. Prepare them for it. Have that talk with them. Let them know that this is going to be okay. Pump them up. Let them know that they can do it. You know, kids like a challenge. You know, they like to let, like to be known that their parents have some type of faith in them that they can do things. And they try to prove that to their parents. 
So that might be one of the good things that you can do in this situation by telling them, I know you can do it, you know. You're a big kid. You you show me you can do things. So tonight you're gonna show me that you can sleep in your own bed. Um, don't say things that like don't be scared, you know, because then you're putting in the back of their mind that they have a reason to be scared about something, which they don't. So don't tell them don't be scared, you know. We don't want to sway them into thinking that there's something in there that they should be afraid of. Um Make it clear to them that you expect for them to sleep in their room and to stay in their room. You know, let that be known that that's their expect that's your expectation of them to do and for them to do it. Period. You want to make sure you take baby steps into making this transition because some of these kids probably have slept in your room and your bed all their lives. So this could be a big step for them to sleep in their own bed. So you don't want to force it as to making them sleep in there and then boom, that's it. You have to take baby steps. So, you know, um, maybe one night, the first night, sleep with them on the floor with them. Or maybe let them sleep on the floor in your room and just let them know, okay, well, when you fall asleep, I'm going to put you in your bed. Or mommy's going to lay in here with you for a little while until you fall asleep. Baby steps. You know, those are some of the things that can get them used to being in their own room. Get them a bedtime routine. You know, um, maybe start off by taking a warm bath. Then um, letting them pick out a, a story or you tell them reading them a book. You know, um, do a little cuddling with them, you know. Make sure that they're in their own bed, though, when you're doing all of this. And then once, you know, you read them a couple of stories, get them comfortable in their own bed with that that teddy bear that they like or that blankie or whatever. And then once you've done all of that, they're comfortable, they're relaxed. Then you ease your way out, turn off the lights or turn on the nightlight or whatever you've um, set the room up for. And you walk out and let them fall asleep on their own you know that's a good way of setting them up to fall asleep on their own in their own bed you know have that routine set up for them on a nightly basis to let them know it's okay you know and eventually it works last but not least you have to stay consistent it's not going to work if you don't stay consistent anything that you do with transitioning a child from what they're used to to introducing them to something different you have to stay consistent with it um i know as parents we'll give in you know in the middle of the night the kid will get up and go to the bathroom and then they'll sneak their way in your bed <clears throat> excuse me and then you'll be so tired that you're like oh okay well i'll just let them sleep here tonight and we'll try this thing again tomorrow no no matter how tired you are, you need to get up, walk them back to their room, and put them in their bed. You have to let them know that it is not okay, that they have to sleep in their own room. Because if you allow that one night to fail, then the child is going to manipulate manipulate you back into thinking they got away with it this night. They're going to continue to do it often. And then you're going to be back to where you started from to going back over again to starting all over. So be consistent in to, <clears throat> excuse me, what you started. Don't let the child win, you know, no matter what. You have to stay on them with letting them know that you want them to stay in their own room. Last but definitely not least, reward them. You know, if they if they sleep in their own room at night, reward them. Let them know they did a good job. You know, do like a sticker chart um, or something in that nature. If they're a little bit older, do like tokens or something to where if they get so many tokens, they can pick out a prize. If they get so many stickers, they can buy something from the dollar store or something. Give them a reward for completing something that was so hard for them to do. Let them know that they deserved it and you you reward them for it kids like to be rewarded we all know that so 
those are just some of the things that I think that that would help with transitioning them from sleeping with you. There may be some other things that you can try, but consistency and a routine and taking baby steps and getting them used to these things will might, from what my perspective of having kids, has worked in the past. So again, I am Shyla Johnson with The Hot Topic. And um, with any questions, I can be reached at heavenlyarmsomaha at gmail.com or at heavenlyarmschildcare.com. Until we meet again, have a good day. Thank you.